YouTube. What up, man? <laughs> it's your boy Street Tate. Back to back videos for you guys, man. If y'all didn't check out the Black Cement 3 video that's just like this one, click that link. It'll take you over there and y'all can get all familiar with where I've been at and what's up with the Black Cement 3s, man. If you're new to the channel, go in my channel and check out all the past comparison and collection style videos that I've done. My lane is comparison and collection segment videos, man, so y'all don't want to miss them joints. Follow me on the gram and snap because I do have shoes for sale. Streettate.bigcartel.com. The link is down below. Don't sleep. I'm updating it every day, man, and I'm selling shoe after shoe. Folks are copying shit from me like right now, man, so I appreciate that love. I will post shit for sale on my gram and snap first to give folks a chance uh, to be ready for the website, man. So definitely follow me on those two social medias, dog, if y'all really want to, you know what I'm saying, cop some shit, man. So check out the website. I got a bunch of different shit from Kobe's to LeBron's to Katie's, like the fucking good ones, Kobe 7's, KD 4's. Uh, LeBron tens and shit like that, man. So listen, bro, don't sleep. Y'all know what I got. Don't fucking sleep, man. No question, man. So the whole point of my comparison videos is to help out those that might be on the fence, might not want to cop the current release, and much rather cop maybe a, a past release for maybe quality reasons, maybe colors, who knows, it's your own opinion, or y'all can use my videos for maybe legit checking certain shoes that you might be about to buy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So listen, man, I do this shit for y'all. <laughs> y'all know that, and I appreciate y'all watching, man. No question. This video is a comparison of your 2011, 2013, 2018 White Cement 3s. Another Tinker Hatfield Silhouette, another original colorway. Very, very dope shoe. Definitely in my top five when it comes to colorways of the Jordan 3. This shoe has come out six total times in the last 30 years. So we have 1988, 1994, and 2003. 2011, 2013, 2018, man. So there are six different times where you could have copped this shoe. So if you don't have a pair and you want a pair, there really is no excuse, man. There's plenty of pairs out there just like the Black Cement 3s, man. So no question. All right. Now, I know y'all are about to write down the comments. What about the Justin Timberlake 3s? Listen, man. Listen. Okay. The Justin Timberlake 3s, in my opinion, okay? Y'all know I'm an OG head, right? I am big in OG colorways and OG Jordan 3 silhouettes. As soon as they put that Nike check on the side of that Justin Timberlake 3, Tinker 3, I instantly wasn't fucking with it because in my eyes it's like a fusion you know what I'm saying so if you're gonna fuck with an original silhouette and fuck with the design of it I'm not fucking with it bro you know what I'm saying that Nike check fusion shit I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling none of that Tinker shit I think the shit is garbage I don't give a damn if Tinker Hatfield was trying to be on some reminiscing back to my high school sketching days I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna be real with y'all dog I don't care bro I am an original silhouette original colorway don't don't mess with that you know what I'm saying don't be adding corny shit Nike signs and fucking little flowers and dumb shit don't don't be adding that shit bro that shit corny to me and that's just me you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna be real with y'all and that's why that shoe is not in this video you know what I'm saying so now y'all know why <laughs> all right so let's talk about the 2011 pair uh, I was in the mall um, I went to my local finish line. I ain't even know this shoe even came out. I saw them on shelves. I copped them. Dope ass shoe. I wear these joints a lot. Fast forward two years later, 2013. This shoe is the 25th anniversary of the release of the Jordan 3 and the dunk contest that Jordan won. So this shoe also came out to pay homage to the dunk contest, right? For Jordan when he wanted wearing these with that iconic you know dunk design and all that shit you know what I'm saying so this shoe was the 25th anniversary of all that dope shoe like an air on the back to pay homage to that original design cool fast forward to 2018 we have your free throw line Jordan 3's this is the 30th anniversary of the release of the Jordan 3 silhouette and that dunk contest that Jordan won now this pays a little more homage to that dunk contest because there are certain things on this shoe that um, stand out and really um, 
have that dunk contest uh, feel to it. So on the bottom of the uh, free throw line Jordan 3 there's a red stripe that's where he jumped off with his left foot when he touched the free throw line during that dunk contest right on the back heel tab there is a time of 351 that's the exact time his foot hit that line before he dunked and there is the number 147 behind the tongue that is the total number of judged points that he got in all three rounds when he won that dunk contest. So he won that contest with 147 total judged points. You know what I'm saying? So this shoe definitely pays the most homage to all that dunk contest situation and the whole Nike Air Jordan 3 original silhouette, man. So very, very beautiful shoes, man. No question. Let's cut to the table. Not the comparison now. We'll come back. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get y'all up out of here, bro. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you new. Do it, man. And the box is retail price in your 2011 pair was $150. Dial code color code 13606405. Fast forward to 2013, your 88 threes retail $200. 580 and 2018 free throw line pair retails also $200 with a style code color code of 9230961011. Something that is the same on all three versions is the color verbiage. White, fire red, cement, gray is consistent on all three labels, on all three pairs. As far as the label positioning, as you see, on 2011 and 2013, the label's on the box top, while on 2018, the label is on the bottom of the box, as y'all see there. As far as the toe boxes on all three pair, they all have tumbled leather on the toe box of all three versions. The elephant print is also very similar. Only difference might be height. Uh, the height of the 2013 and 2018 pairs from midsole to the top of the elephant print is a little bit taller than your 2011 pair. Now go up to the tongues. The tongue with the perf holes, there is holes there, quite a bit. There are even more on your 88 threes, very, very noticeable. And there aren't as many, but they have a bigger diameter on the perforation holes on your 2018. As far as the lace eyelets, shoestrings, shoestring tips, they are all, all the same on all three versions. I go up to the tongues. On your 2011 and 2013 pair, they have tumbled leather on the tongues. If we go in here, y'all can see the tumbled leather with the Jordan butt crack on 2011. Your 2013 version, we have a Jordan butt crack also with tumbled leather on the tongue. And your 2018 free throw line pair is smooth leather, as you can see, with no butt crack. A very decent craftsmanship jump man. And I'll have that red peaking on the top of the tongue on all three versions. And here are the outsides of all three shoes. All of them have tumbled leather on the sides with a smooth mud guard and matte paint on the rear of the midsoles. All of them have the same midsole design. The shape is the same for all three pairs. The only real difference is, of course, the gray color shading, depending on what year it came out, and the points that it comes to on the elephant print. Now, if you look here, it goes up, it kind of curves down on 2011, 2013, it goes up, it also curves, but it's starting to curve to more of a point, and then in 2018, it definitely goes up, comes to a nice point, and then comes down as far as the elephant print design on the ankle of the shoes. Now here's the outside of all three shoes. They still have that tumble leather going around all three pairs with that smooth mud guard, with that curve to point elephant prints on the heel. Let's talk air bubbles on 2018. It's obviously nice and clear air bubble there. Go to 2013. It's also it's still a very clear air bubble. And 2011, uh, it is starting to fog, but it is still pretty clear for its age. Um, but it is starting to fog up just a little bit. Besides that, everything else seems to stay consistent on all three versions, shape, design, colorway. And here's the back of all three shoes. 
Big difference, obviously, is the Nike Airs on the back. Left to right, 2011, 2013, 2018, left and right shoe, and I'll show you why here in a minute. The Nike Air on the back of your 2013 and 2018 pair, they do look different. Your 2013 pair has more of a 3D look. I like very, very much, very, very dope. Good looking Nike Air on the back there. As far as your 2018 pair, it's just a matte Nike Air. Nothing really uh, 3D-ish about it. As far as your cement gray, it is lighter or darker depending on what year the shoe came out. Same for the elephant print height based off of the midsole to the height of the elephant print could be varies as well depending on what year that you have. Now your free throw line pair pay homage to the dunk contest so it has a couple of things on it. On the back tab here it has a time of 351. That's the time Jordan's foot hit the free throw line right before he made that iconic dunk. And on the back of the tongue is number 147. That's the total number of judge points that he had when he won that dunk contest in 1988. On the back of the tongues of all the shoes, they do all have size tags. The ankle thickness and tongue thickness is the same on all three releases. And as far as the insole, they are all red. On 2013 pair, it has your black Nike Air with your trademark symbols. Your 2018 pair of uh, the left shoe has the Jordan 3 design on the insole with Nike. And the right shoe has your black Nike Air without the trademark R symbols. And of course your 2011 pair has your standard black jump man that we're all used to. And the bottom of all three all have the same Jordan 3 design. The same color placement on 2011 and 2013. Of course, on your free throw line pair, the right shoe is just all clear bottom, while the left shoe has where he jumped from the free throw line marking uh, on the bottom of the left shoe because he jumped off with his left foot. Now, on the 2013 88 3, this is where they fucked up. They put a Jordan on the bottom while the back tab still has Nike Air on the back. Makes no sense. They fucked that up. They know they did. That was a big complaint from a lot of real sneakerheads about why they put Jordan on the bottom but yet have a Nike Air on the back tab. Shit made no sense. That was a big flaw. It should say Nike, no question. And of course, your 2011 pair is the only pair I have worn. Um, the other two pair, of course, DS. Very, very dope bottoms. Very, very iconic. Mission Control ready for launch. That brought Dominique to his feet. And a 50 for Michael Jordan on his first dunk of the semifinal round. Alright, uh, YouTube. Which one you rocking? 2011, 2013, 2018. Me down in the comments, man, which one y'all rocking with? Give me y'all's thoughts on the Tinker Threes. Do y'all like them or nah? Um, if I had to choose out of these three, I would go with the 2013 pair because I'm not a fan of clear bottoms. If the bottoms on the free throw lines weren't clear, I'd definitely go with this, man. Very, very dope nostalgia and paying homage and all of that. But because of this clear bottom, I'm not really feeling it. So I'm going to go with the 2013 pair, even though it has Jordan on the bottom and a Nike Air heel tab. That shit makes no sense to me. Whoever designed that and shit, they need to be fired. No question, you know what I'm saying? But definitely going with the 2013 pair for me on this one. Um, something else I thought that was kind of cool, I guess, or lazy, was the hang tags from 2013 and 2018 are exactly the same. So the five-year gap, they still use the same hang tag, you know what I'm saying? Probably just some leftovers and shit, you know what I mean? But I thought that was kind of cool. But again, if the free throw lines didn't have clear bottoms, I would definitely have chose this one, man. So let me know in the comments, man, if y'all have any of these, any of the older ones. Give me y'all's thoughts down in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. Shoes for sale. Link below. Don't sleep. And listen, man. IGTV video coming soon showing you upcoming comparison videos. So make sure y'all go follow me on IG, no question. And uh, yeah, man. Shit. I'm back. I right? I appreciate y'all, man. I got love for y'all, no doubt. You can't just say you real, something you gotta be. See y'all next week. Peace. This video is a comparison of your 2012 release Jordan 9 Olives versus your January 20th, 2018 released Jordan 13 Olives. This is permanent. I put a panic in traffic like Pablo Escobar. I adapted, immaculate, I'm gonna scrap again. Yeah.